you are looking for a new delicious side dish to mix up your usual dinner routine, you've got to try these twice smoked potatoes. They are cheesy, flavorful, and amazing. So this is a super easy recipe to make. It's great for beginners. It's great for busy families alike. Let's get going. The first step is gonna to be to prep our potatoes. We are going to wash, poke, and season our potatoes with some vegetable oil and Traeger rub. So once your potatoes are prepped and your smoker is at 400 degrees, you're gonna put these potatoes directly on the grill grates and cook them with the lid closed for about an hour. While those potatoes are smoking, we are gonna to get together our bacon, our shredded cheese, and our other filling ingredients. I love the flavor of smoked Gouda. It's a really good melting cheese for this recipe, but you can use whatever other cheese you like. I just happen to think this one is super delicious. Now, I was a little bit surprised because even though these potatoes are a little bit bigger, they did only take an hour to cook um, until they were fork tender all the way through. So let's pull them off and get them filled. Lower the temp on your smoker to about 370 or 375, so when we get them back on, the cheese doesn't burn before the inside is done. So if you want just like a baked potato, but a smoked potato just on its own, this is, this is a really good potato. The peel is tender now because it's had a nice long time to cook and it's totally devourable. Um, we are gonna take it one step further though. Okay, so to make the filling, you have a choice on how you wanna mash everything together. You can absolutely use a hand masher, um, or you can use a stand mixer or an electric mixture. This just comes down to what you feel like washing when it's under the dishes and the texture. Now, I like a smooth, creamy potato, so I'm gonna go for the stand mixer, but if you want one with more chunk or more texture, then grab a hand masher or a fork. As soon as the potatoes are cool enough to handle, but still warm, we're going to cut them in half through the center and scoop the inside out into the mixing bowl. Now you're going to leave about a quarter of an inch of a border, um, just enough potato to hold that peel together so it doesn't fall apart completely. Now, if you're using smaller potatoes, you can cut off just about the top third and then serve um, each potato as an individual side. But these are pretty big, so a half of a potato is going to be plenty of a side dish. Using the whisk attachment, let's break these potatoes up a little bit on low before we start adding anything else. Okay, so we did that initial stir on there to let the steam out so that we're able to absorb the fat that we're going to put in here. I'm going to tell you a secret. I don't love to measure. I am a go with my gut cook when I'm just cooking for my family. But if you want measurements for all of these ingredients, I do have them in a recipe card. Um, that you can grab in the link below or go to fancyaproncooking.com. Um, but these are, we're just gonna go season, fill with goodness, test to make sure that we're good to go and get them back on the trigger. Let's season them first with two teaspoons of salt and one teaspoon of pepper. We're gonna mix that for just a second so that the salt and pepper get all the way through the potato before we add in five tablespoons of unsalted butter and half a cup of sour cream. Then to finish it all off, we're going to fold in about a cup of shredded gouda, or you pick whatever cheese you want, and then six slices of crispy bacon that I chopped up into small bits. Then I'm going to throw in some chives because that's what I like, but you can either leave that out or do green onion instead if you prefer that. Now it's all downhill from here. All we have to do is fill the potatoes, so just spoon some of the filling into each one until they are evenly filled. Okay, so... Before we get these back on, we're just going to finish up with a little more cheese on each one and some bacon bits, just so you know exactly what you're getting. And then we're going to get them back on the grill. Now we're going to pop them back on the trigger for 15 to 20 minutes until all the cheese on top is super gooey and melted. This is perfection. I'm so excited. It has all of that cheesy goodness coming out of it. It's the smoked Gouda. You gotta give it a shot. I'm just gonna eat this all. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate your time and it means so much that you chose to spend a few minutes with me. Now, 
let me know what other side dishes and trigger recipes you want to make with me. Um, I'd love to hear from you and I would love some inspiration and I'd like to know how I can help. Um, and then if you could just subscribe, it really helps me out so much and it doesn't cost you a thing. And then you'll know when to come back and watch again.